Digital foam, the general concept, uh, is a metamaterial. So we are talking not about a specific material here, but uh, about uh, properties that can be achieved with certain materials. And if you, as you've just seen in this picture changing, uh, it is referring to changing the properties of a part by adjusting the structure or the material that you have. And by doing this to change the properties you can achieve. If we have a look at three types of applications that we focus mainly on with digital foam and uh, with foam-like applications, it's for safety applications. We've just discussed it or touched this topic. Here we are working, for example, with the company Wilson in the United States, uh, where they have printed the inlay for these protective helmets, for example, for the uh, baseball sports, uh, with letter stretches to improve the product in terms of heat dissipation from the athlete, uh, comfort, and of course, the protection of the athlete, which is the highest priority here. Then we have comfort applications where the comfort, as the name says, is in the focus. Here we are mainly discussing, uh, or uh, we are mainly discussing currently with uh, companies in the um, footwear industry. And for example, have this nice application with our partner Atrix, which is a cushioning inlay that is customized to each individual. Last but not least, we have performance applications where performance, as the name says, is in, in the uh, center of attention. And here we adjust lattice structures to boost performance, for example, in this, uh, in this shoe from Under Armour to uh, boost the energy back into the lack of the athlete so that you have a higher rebound of the material being used. You can also work with different designs. It doesn't necessarily need to be the regular lattice structures, but for example, here the company Hexer made use of the honeycomb structures and assigning these via an algorithm over the head to the most critical areas to in, in, increase the uh, number of um, honeycombs uh, to take more load there or to reduce it to have a higher um, reduction of weight and of course a higher dissipation of heat while cycling. So this is also a very neat application where the digital foam concept is being used and others also include, for example, uh, touching both areas, safety and comfort, shin guards. We have had shin guards for uh, quite a while on our portfolio that can be customized to the athletes need and therefore are very um, well fitted and very comfortable to wear. But on the other hand side, they're very durable and very good in repelling forces uh, during um, intensive contact during soccer, for example. Between the applications of performance and comfort, we have, for example, orthesis and prothesis applications, which we are very proud of and uh, sponsoring to a great uh, extent in the market because we think that is a very interesting and growing field of applications. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumb up. And if you'd like to have further information about educational content or other webinars from EOS, just click the links in the description box below. We hope to see you soon in one of our next videos. Until then, go and subscribe our channel. Bye!